So hi guys, this is your Anand Sir back. So many of you requested me to do some video lectures on the fourth and fifth module of M2. And how can I say you no? Know? So I have decided to start a YouTube channel and where I will be uploading the, my video lectures on the remaining part of the syllabus of M2, which you people want. So we had a dream and uh, let us not stop. And they say integration is tough, but we know we are tougher than that. So the topic that I am going to take right now is evaluation of double integrations by the change of order of integration. So I have already studied how to evaluate double integrals. So now we will do the part where we change the order of integration and then evaluate the integral. Now, understand the topic clearly. Now there is a question. Integral of 0 to 1, 0 to y, f of xy dy. So that means first we have to integrate with respect to y and then we have to integrate with respect to x. Now check for the limits. Here it is 0 to x. Only y will always be in terms of x and x will be in terms of y. So the question given is integral of 0 to 1, integral of 0 to x, f of x, y, dy, dx. So the whole point is to change this order. We have to change dy, dx to dx, dy. Now we cannot change it directly. When we change this, this limit should also change. So the best way to approach problems in this method is to plot the graph. Now look at this, y is equal to 0, y is equal to 0 is x-axis, y is equal to x, y is equal to x is a line passing through origin, it bisects the first quadrant. So I have drawn y is equal to 0, y is equal to x. Next, x is equal to 0 is y-axis, x is equal to 1 is a line perpendicular to x-axis and parallel to y-axis. Now I have drawn out my four regions. Now, because the inner integral is with respect to y, draw a line parallel to y axis. See, this is y is equal to 0 to y is equal to x. Now, x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 1. So, x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 1. This is my region. So, which is my common part of this triangle? So, when I change my integral from dy dx to dx dy, the limits will change. So, to get the limits in terms of 3x, draw a line parallel to x-axis. Now, where is it going? This, what is this point? This point is y is equal to x. This point is what? x is equal to 1. So, the limits are changing from y is equal to 0 to y is equal to x to x is equal to y to x is equal to 1, which is described by this line. Next, for the y limit, look at this point. And look at this point. So this point is y is equal to x. Because this point is x is equal to 1, automatically this point is 1 comma 1. So this point is 0 comma 1, that is y is equal to 1. So my y limits are from y is equal to 0 to y is equal to 1. Now whatever they give you f of x, y. Now first integrate with respect to x, treating y as a constant, and then integrate with respect to y, treating x as a constant. So the whole point of change of order of integration is to change dy dx to dx dy. Now you cannot change it directly, you have to change it by changing the given limits. So this particular problem will explain you how to do that. Now I will take a specific problem where I am going to explain you how to do the problem completely. So the problem that I am going to take for you people right now Okay, is going to be integral of 0 to a, integral of x to a, x by root of x square plus y square dx dy. So this is my problem. Now, look at this. If I have to do the direct method, then I have to integrate first with respect to x, treating y as a constant. But here we have x by root of x square plus y square, which is again a very difficult part. So, I have to change my limits. Now, because this is with respect to dx, what, are, what exactly do I do without changing the order of integration? I have to first integrate with respect to x and then I have to integrate with respect to y. So, now what exactly should I do? x by root of x square plus y square dy dx. So this is what I need to do. Now I need to change my limits. Now here I have, what exactly do I have here? So the question is with respect to y. So now, so 
this is x is equal to y to x is equal to a, y is equal to 0 to y is equal to a. So this is the problem. Now, let me plot the graph. Once we plot the graph, it will become very, very easy for us. Now, x is equal to y, again, is a line which passes through the origin. x is equal to a. So this will be x is equal to a. Y is equal to 0. Y is equal to 0. Now, because this is x is equal to y, this point is a comma a, automatically this will be y is equal to a. So now you will be confused whether this is my region or this is my region. So now let us, this is with respect to dx. So if it is with respect to dx, draw a line parallel to x axis. See, x is equal to y to x is equal to a y is equal to 0 to y is equal to a. So now I have to change my limits. So this will become, what is this point? y is equal to 0. So what is this point? y is equal to x. So at this point, x is equal to 0 to x is equal to a. So my limits will become 0 to x and 0 to a. So this is y equal to 0, this is y is equal to x, this is x is equal to 0 and this is x is equal to a. See the limits which are from y and x have now been changed to x and y. So now this I have to integrate first with respect to y and then I have to integrate with respect to x. So when I integrate with respect to y, I treat x as a constant, that is the most important part. Now, because you can pause the videos and write down the write it down clearly. Now I will be solving this part by taking it as a separate problem now. So right now what do I have? Integral of 0 to a, integral of 0 to x, root of x square by x square plus y square d by dx. So now when I integrate with respect to y, x is a constant. So you need to know this formula. Integration of root dx is log of x by root of x plus root of x square plus a square. So if I use that formula here, integration of 0 to a, this is x into log of y plus root of x square plus y square to the limits 0 to x dx. Because you are integrating with respect to y, you are treating x as a constant. But here it is a homogeneous function, root of x square plus y square, you cannot do it. So it is, you consider this as a and you consider this as x. Now applying my limits, I get integral of 0 to a x into log of x plus root of x square plus x square minus log of 0 plus root of x square plus 0 into dx. So I get integral of 0 to a log of x square plus x square is 2x square that is log of x plus root 2x minus log of x. So what is log n by log n? So I get x into log of 1 plus root 2x by x dx. Cancel x and x. Now log of 1 plus root 2 is a constant. When you integrate x with respect to dx, you get x square by 2 that is from 0 to a. So my answer is log of 1 plus root 2 into a square by 2. So understand this carefully. The whole point is once you change the order of integration, it is similar to how you have solved problems in evaluation of double integrals. So the whole point is trying to plot the graph for the given problems and once you get it, you will get the required answer. So in this video, I have given you a small introduction on the evaluation of double integrals by the change of order of integration. I will be uploading a subsequent video where I do two or three problems in this method. So please pause the video wherever you require and do it in such a way. Learn it. It's not difficult and you are better than this. You can handle this easily. And we have a ring and let's not stop it. Thank you.